And we're back to fight this guy that apparently got his uh, foot beat by a Pokemon. Cool. Cool story, bro. I'm gonna whoop that ass, though. I wonder what Pokemon he has. Oh, Vulpix! Oh, even he got the Vulpix from that cave and I didn't. Well, <laughs> isn't this just gonna suck a whole lot? It does... Fire shouldn't be uh, effective at all against ground type Pokemon. Come on. I just wanna lower its a I got burned too. Uh, I just wanna lower Vulpix's attack as much as I can before taking Bum out because he's a grass type Pokemon and the fire is super effective against uh, grass type Pokemon. And I'm gonna get the bum out r right now. Hopefully, Kibon won't die. Okay, he won't die. Bum, please, <laughs> please don't die. <laughs> oh come on, Volpix! Throw me a bone here. Oh, he didn't do as much damage as I would have. Uh, well, not as I would have hoped, as I would have not hoped, I guess. But I'm gonna use. Uh, God damn, why did I get rid of Tackle? Ugh! Vine Whip. Please do something. Um, it did. Alright, I guess. But two more embers and I'm... Well, two more embers started from now and I'm fucked. Royally fucked. If I don't get the critical hit then I'm... Well... Uh, I might still win this because Volpix keeps using his tail whip. Thank you, Volpix. I knew you would understand. You're probably the Pokemon that beat uh, this guy's foot. <laughs> and the Cubone leveled up. Ah, oh, there's another Pokemon. Oh no! 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 I refuse to believe this. Yes, please. Oh my god, another Vulpix! Why didn't I not remember that he has Vulpixes? God damn it. <laughs> I'm still gonna try to lower Vulpix's attack by a lot. Before I... before Cubone dies. If it wasn't for Cubone, Bomb would have been fucked by now. Please don't die, Cubone! No, 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 no. Ah, oh, god damn it. It was a critical hit anyway. Bum! Please come and save the day. Vulpix, uh, you should be using uh, Tail Whip a lot more often because it works. Believe me, it works. <laughs> oh man. I'm dead. One more ember and uh, I'm fucked. Do I have any potions at all? Mm, nope. Well, I might lose this uh, battle, guys, but uh, at least I tried. Okay, Vulpix. Vulpix is on my side. There's, there's that sliver of health. But uh, Vulpix used Tail Whip, which is uh, good for me because. I can kill him now. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked! Those Vulpixes sure were on my side. Gambler, you got... Uh, losing hurts more. Yeah, your Vulpix uh, forsaken you. I I'm gonna go right back to the Poke Center and heal up my Pokemon. That was a struggle and a half. But I plan on catching uh, a flying type Pokemon in that patch of grass in this episode. I don't know what uh, flying type Pokemon are in there other than uh, than that guy Pidgey. There's probably Spiro. But I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna catch a flying type Pokemon then we're gonna come back and uh, talk about this town a bit more. Because uh, there's a gym right here, and gyms are pretty important. 
for the advancement of this game. Very important. I just gonna run from this guy. I don't want an Ikans. Let's see. I really wanna fast forward this. Bellsprout! I already got a grass type Pokemon. Get the fuck out of here. And the uh, Bellsprout's uh, defense sucks. Major ass. It's really not good. Ah, bro, I forgot that you are here. Now, guys, this Abra is very hard to catch. Let me just use a growl for the hell of it. His teleport failed! Oh my god, I used. I could have switched to bomb and probably could have catched it. Ah. Please fail again. God damn it. And this is why he's very annoying to catch. His uh, teleport uh, uh, teleports him uh, from battle, no matter if he's faster than the user's Pokemon or not. Just teleports him, and I don't want a Rattata either. I can't escape. It's a level 5 Rattata. How is it? Oh my god. I do not want to press run again. The chance of you encountering an Abra is uh, low enough, but the chance of his teleport actually failing and not uh, teleporting him away from battle, that's a whole other story. Oh man, uh, Vine Whip should kill him in two hits. Or one. I forgot that Rattata's defense sucks as well. Yeah, Abra is uh, pretty suckish. But his uh, teleport move is really cool, not because it teleports him out of battle, but because you can use it outside of battle. And uh, wh wherever you are, the move teleports you uh, to the nearest uh, Pokemon Center. And uh, again, I'm gonna have to switch out to Bomb. Great. Just great. So that teleport move is uh, really, really useful. But I won't be catching a Nebra. I don't even want to try. I tried last time I played and uh, it didn't end up good. I rage quit, <laughs> pretty much. And uh, I'm inclined to stop the recording and just fast forward this shit because um, I don't want to spend the whole episode just walking through the grass and uh, searching for a flying type Pokemon. And I'm not even encountering any more Pokemon now. What the hell? There we go, but it's probably another Rattata. It's a Pidgey. Well, at least it's a flying type Pokemon. But I don't want a Pidgey. Leave me alone. And you know what? I'm gonna stop the recording right here and uh, be back when uh, I see a flying type Pokemon. That's not Pidgey. Okay, so that took a lot less longer than I thought. The f I fast forwarded and... Uh, just ran into this uh, dot duo, and uh, I'm gonna use uh, some growls on it because it knows Peck, and uh, Peck is uh, super effective against Bum. So yeah, that's gonna suck. Dot duo is really a good Pokemon to have. His uh, health uh, isn't that good, but his attack is just awesome. I can't find a suitable word to describe his attack, it's a lot higher than Bum's attack. Even though uh, the duo is level 5 now and Bum is level 15 I believe. It's a lot higher. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably gonna use a Poison Pounder on uh, the duo because Vine Whip might kill it and I don't want that. Because I don't know how... Uh, how rare the duo is in this uh, patch of grass. I could just leech seed as well. Yeah. Why not? And uh, it might seem weird, uh, but the duo can actually learn the move fly. Even though it seemingly doesn't have any... any wings. <laughs> it can learn the move fly. And I poisoned him, Lich seeded, should be good. 
slowly but surely it's losing health. Oh man, <laughs> could just keep using rolls while it's losing health and uh... oh my god, critical hit! That sucks. <laughs> but it's it's cool. I got growl on my side and lead seed. Wait, what? No, can I not use growl anymore? Because why cannot can I not use growl anymore? Yep, I can't. No, don't kill me! Oh fuck! <laughs> I guess his attack is at low as is as low as it can get. Um. Switch out to Q-Bomb real quick. <coughs> I'm already like 10 minutes in, I believe. Uh, I really want to catch this guy in this episode. And uh, yeah, Lich Seed uh, works. Um, apparently on uh, Q-Bomb as well. For whatever reason. Huh. That's actually quite uh, cool. <coughs> I'm gonna keep using Growl because even though it uh, can't do shit, <laughs> I'm gonna catch this Doduo. I am determined to catch it. Oh man, I should have just uh, fast forwarded this because it's not very fun to watch uh, health going. Uh, oh no, don't kill. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh. And uh, finally, I found another do duo. I will uh, include this in the episode where I, where I started searching for this do duo because uh, really, really <laughs> annoying. <laughs> it was annoying. And uh, I think it's low enough health. Don't even give me that shit. Don't tell me it's not low enough health. Thank you. Oh my god. I actually used Vine Whip and uh, it wasn't very effective. And it didn't kill it. It just took a bit more than half of its health. A bird that makes up for its uh, poor flying with its uh, fast foot speed leaves uh, giant footprints. Cool. Want to give, give a nickname to the duo? Mm, nah, not really. But yeah, guys, uh, we got a flying type Pokemon. That uh, just fainted because uh, it was poisoned. I'm just gonna leave, uh, stop the recording at that note. I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon off screen and uh, be back and uh, talk about the new city we're in a bit.